This morning's farm report is sponsored by LS Tractor. Start blue, stay blue. This year, make LS Tractor your all-season workhorse. From spring applications using LS tillers, box blades, rotary cutters and grapples, to winter applications utilizing LS snow blowers, blades and brooms. With this lineup, there's no job you can't do with LS Tractors and Implements. Learn more at LSTractorUSA.com or check out your local LS dealer. Well, a great big howdy, everybody. I'm glad to be back with you. Thank you for allowing me into your homes today. What I'm talking about today uh, is an announcement of the upcoming uh, Southern Farm Show. This is an annual event that occurs on the grounds of the State Fair. Uh, a good bit of it happens in the uh, Dorton Arena and all surrounding buildings and premises. And uh, this year it uh, begins on Wednesday, January 31st and uh, goes through Friday, February 2nd. That's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. This event has uh, been anticipated and welcomed for many years beginning in 1978. And the same family is still uh, running it and managing it, uh, the Zimmerman family. And let me share with you now uh, 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 an introductory message of welcome and invitation to this event from the show's manager, Mr. David Zimmerman. We want this to be your show, he says. That was part of the message from the show manager that my father, uh, Robert Zimmerman, wrote uh, for the show program in 1978. The first year the show was held in Raleigh. And while the show has grown from uh, then just the Jim Graham building that year uh, to what you see today, uh, that attitude has not changed. There's much excitement, much anticipation, uh, much uh, fellowship and enjoyment. I believe the most important part of making it your show is bringing in the companies and products you want to see. Uh, names like Vermeer, Hogslat, Deutz, Implement Sales, Kubota, Farm Credit Bank, Massey Ferguson, Steel, Outdoor Equipment Distributors, and Toro are in that uh, 1978 show program as well as the one that we're looking ahead to this year. Uh, many more companies like Alice Chambers, FCX, General Metals, Dow, and Union Carbide are also still part of the show just with different names. We continue to work on making the Southern Farm Show your show by keeping it focused on agriculture and related industries, by bringing in the companies, experts, and industry teachers and leaders you want to see. And uh, Mr. Zimmerman says they promise to keep the show that way. Uh, that is the mission and that is the goal. D to follow up on this, our Commissioner of Agriculture, Steve Troxler, uh, is likewise uh, extending a cordial welcome to all who will come to the show later this month. This is what uh, Steve Troxler says, Dear guest, welcome to the North Carolina State Fairgrounds and the 2024 Southern Farm Show, an event we are proud to have here at the Fairgrounds every year. Since the 2023 show, North Carolina agriculture and agribusiness reached a major milestone. The industry topped $100 billion in economic impact for the first time, which was significant for the state and a personal goal I have had for the industry for several years, reaching the $103.2 billion mark only reinforces what a vital and important industry agriculture and agribusiness is to our state, fueling our rural communities providing jobs and feeding us. I hope you are as proud as I am to be part of such a dynamic industry. The Southern Farm Show helps farmers stay up on the latest equipment, services, and trends by showcasing new equipment from every maker, bringing in a variety of service providers for the industry and hosting important commodity meetings to provide the latest updates. Farming is tough business, with the profit margins very thin. 
So farmers must stay, uh, stay on top of every aspect of their business to be successful. This show makes it easy to compare and learn about new products and practices uh, to plan for the future. We have our work cut out for us to meet the growing global demand for food and fiber products, but I also know our farmers are up to the challenge. I hope that you enjoy your visit to our fairgrounds and to the Southern Farm Show, and I look forward to seeing you here, that is, at the uh, fairgrounds at the show. Sincerely, Steve Troxler, Commissioner of Agriculture. So there's a lot of uh, excitement, and they started out in 1978. The same family is still running and managing the show, and uh, farmers from several states uh, come to this show to uh, get updates and enjoy being there. Tobacco is still important to North Carolina, and uh, tobacco will, in many ways will be featured at the show as well. Tobacco has always been an important uh, crop to both North Carolina and the uh, Southern Farm Show. Uh, tobacco was North Carolina's original cash crop with a record high of uh, nearly one billion pounds produced in 1951. Uh, today, uh, the poundage of tobacco is more like 300 million. So it has uh, declined in growth and acreage uh, mightily since 1951 when it exceeded one billion pounds. Uh, it is just about a third or 25 percent of that now at 300 million. Since the very first uh, Southern Farm Show held in the North Carolina Fairgrounds in Raleigh in 1978, tobacco farmers have turned to the show to check out tobacco harvesting equipment, tractors, and other tools to help them produce the golden leaf. Tobacco acreage in the United States has been on the decline in recent years. However, tobacco is still an important North Carolina crop, consistently ranking as one of the state's top revenue crops valued at $524 million, $524 million, that is, in 2022. North Carolina State University has a long history with tobacco, including plant improvement and cultivar in, uh, development. Uh, Thurston Mann was hired as the first North Carolina State tobacco uh, genesis in uh, 1949. Since then, multiple researchers in the crop science and plant pathology departments have contributed to developing new knowledge and improved uh, tobacco varieties. According to North Carolina State University, journalist uh, Jennifer Howard, approximately 65% of North Carolina tobacco acreage is planted with varieties that originated from the university. Despite the crop's historical and economic value, times and interest have changed. In 1994, U.S. Uh, law restricted federal government uh, handling uh, for tobacco research. No, in, 1950, in, 19, in 1994, U.S. law restricted federal government funding for tobacco research. NC State's uh, modern uh, Nicotina research, uh, now mostly uh, privately funded, uh, ranges from the economic improvement of commercial varieties to the uh, genus broader uh, used as a model plant. Uh, North Carolina still leads the nation in flu-cured tobacco production with over 116,000 acres harvested in 2022. So grower interest in uh, variety improvement remains high. For growers, uh, agronomic traits like high yield and disease resistant are paramount. Since growers have limited acreage of this uh, lucrative crop, uh, maximizing yield while minimizing disease is essential. Black shank is one of the most uh, common and detrimental disease in tobacco. It uh, normally contributes to 3 to 12 percent of loss, but can be up to 80 percent of an individual crop depending on the year, environmental conditions, and variety grown. It could decimate an entire crop, said Ramsey Lewis. Uh, the Charles 
and Marilyn Stuba, Distinguished Professor of Plant Breeding at NC State. Lewis has released five varieties in his 20 years at the university, uh, including the North Carolina 1226 in 2020 and NC uh, 960 in 2022, uh, pairing high yield with significant black shank resistance. North Carolina uh, 960 has been one of the highest yielding varieties in the North Carolina official variety trials and is estimated to equal 8% of the state's 2023 flu-cured tobacco crop. Yield and disease resistance are usually inversely correlated. As long as tobacco is a legal product, we have a grower mandate to research flu-cured tobacco varieties that provide advantages to producers. We only, we study uh, diverse sources of disease resistance and use modern approaches to develop varieties adapted for North Carolina. They are the words of uh, Dr. Ramsey Lewis. His group has used classical breeding by intentional crossing, molecular marker assisted breeding, and a plant transformation to study tobacco gene function, identifying, adapting, and uh, assessing trade expression is key to developing a variety that performs in all, uh, for all diversified and interested parties. We use all plant breeding approaches in our work, including uh, introduced genetic variety ability, interruption of biosynthetic genes of interest, and reduced gene expression to stop chemical accumulation, Lewis said. The, this work puts North Carolina State in a strong position to support growers and respond to industry change. So even though the acreage uh, has declined, is so labor intensive and many farmers just have a terrific problem getting enough labor to handle the tobacco and look out, look after it as it should be. There's much competition uh, around the world, uh, primarily in Zimbabwe, Africa, for instance. Uh, Brazil is a tremendous competitor with the United States. And what has happened in recent years in uh, locally, and I say in the U.S., that is, uh, is that tobacco has become a boutique or specialty crop and uh, the acreage and poundage uh, does not even come near to that one billion plus mark in 1951. But nevertheless, uh, the, the tobacco raised in the U.S. is appreciated, it's a cash crop, and it certainly does mean something to North Carolina. To commemorate all of that, uh, the, there is an organization called the Tobacco Growers Association of North Carolina, and they've been uh, in existence since back in the 1970s, and they uh, prevail on behalf of the tobacco farmer and uh, do all they can to work with tobacco companies, would-be uh, customers uh, in and around the world, and uh, represent the tobacco farmer in a progressive, uh, positive way. So they have a meeting at the tobacco farm, at the Southern Farm Show every year. And uh, I will stress again that the Tobacco Growers Association of North Carolina indeed is a strong advocate for North Carolina tobacco farmers. Since 1982, the Tobacco Growers Association of North Carolina has been the voice and advocate for North Carolina tobacco farmers uh, in Raleigh, Washington, D.C., and all points in between. And since the beginning, the Southern Farm Show has been the site of the Tobacco Grower Association's annual membership meeting where North Carolina tobacco farmers gather to conduct the business of the association, get a policy and economic outlook, and discuss issues vital to tobacco, a key and historic crop in North Carolina. The tradition continues in 2024. 
The annual membership meeting of the North Carolina Tobacco Growers Association is set for 10, 10 a.m. Uh, Friday, uh, February 2nd, in the Hose House of Building. A policy and economic outlook will be provided, and the uh, prestigious uh, Farm Family of the Year Award and other awards will be presented. The meeting concludes with a sponsored lunch. The Tobacco Growers Association of North Carolina is a 501c5 uh, nonprofit agricultural advocacy organization. It maintains offices in Raleigh and is governed by a member elected board of directors. The Tobacco Growers Association mission is to advocate for success in farming tobacco through the promotion of sound policies, uh, scientific research, strong advocacy, education, and marketing of its uh, farm members. Uh, the Tobacco Growers Association of North Carolina got its start uh, in the summer of 1981 when a large group of farmers and industry associates met at a barbecue restaurant in Kinston, right in the very heart of North Carolina uh, tobacco country, to discuss state, national, and international tobacco issues. By the end of the meeting, there was a consensus that uh, increasing uh, concerns for the future of tobacco uh, farming dictated the need to form a tobacco-specific commodity organization to serve as a strong advocate for the future. The association was needed to represent North Carolina tobacco farmers in the areas of policy marketing, uh, trade research, technology, and profitability. By November 1981, the group had created a nonprofit uh, named the Tobacco Growers Association of North Carolina. Its first membership meeting uh, was held in early 1982 during the Southern Farm Show. So the Southern Farm Show has had a big uh, part in supporting agriculture and tobacco, and uh, we appreciate that. So for more than 40 years now, the Tobacco Growers Association has been a strong and effective voice for North Carolina. Uh, the Tobacco Growers Association has worked diligently for the past 40 years to advance and support research at the North Carolina State University and has worked closely with North Carolina Department of Agriculture to advocate uh, on regulatory issues, promote trade and other areas necessary to support tobacco growers. So it's a very fine, strong and uh, proactive group. That's all my time today. I'll bring you some more updates on the upcoming Southern Farm Show. I look forward to being with you next week. Thank you for allowing me to visit with you today. Have a good day and a good week and stay warm. God bless you.